Hey guys, today we are going to be working backwards with circumference. We're going to answer the question, how can I find the radius and the diameter when given the circumference? So the first thing you need to do is determine if you're solving for the radius or the diameter because that will determine what formula you use. So you'll write out the formula and the given information and then we can set up an equation by substituting in to that formula and then solving for the missing radius or diameter. Remember the formula with the diameter is circumference equals pi times diameter, and the formula with the radius is circumference equals two pi times the radius. So let's look at number one. It says a circle has a circumference of 25.12. What is the diameter? They're wanting us to find the missing diameter, so I'll use the formula. C equals pi times the diameter. They gave us the circumference, it's 25.12 and the diameter is what I'm looking for. So now let's substitute into the formula. Circumference is 25.12, and it'll equal pi is 3.14 times the diameter. I'm gonna leave it as D since that's the unknown that I'm looking for. So now to get D by itself, I would divide by 3.14. I'm gonna do the opposite to undo it. So now I need to do 25.12 divided by 314. So the missing diameter here would be eight centimeters. Okay, let's look at number two. It says a circle has a circumference of 62.8 centimeters. What is the radius? So they're wanting us to find the missing radius. So I'm gonna be using the formula. Circumference equals two pi r. They gave us the missing, or they gave us the circumference. It's 62.8. And I do not know what the missing radius is. So now let's plug into our formula. Circumference is 62.8 equals two times 3.14 times, I do not know what the radius is. Now I'm going to simplify two times 3.14 to 6.28. And the last thing I need to do to get the radius by itself is undo the 6.28, it's being multiplied by. So I'm gonna divide by 6.28 and 62.8 divided by 6.28 would be 10. So the missing radius is 10 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number three. It says find the missing length of the circle. This length is just halfway across the circle, so that's the missing radius. And they gave us the circumference of 94.2. So they're wanting us to plug into the formula. Circumference equals 2 pi r to find the missing radius. So the circumference is 94.2 equals 2 times pi is 3.14 times r radius. 94.2 equals, that would be 6.28 times the radius, and then I would divide by 6.28. And 94.2 divided by 6.28 is 15. So the missing radius is 15 millimeters. Okay, let's look at number four. It says find the missing length of the circle. We are finding the missing diameter since it's the whole way across the circle. So I'll be substituting into the formula. Circumference equals pi times the diameter. So the circumference was 28.26 equals pi is 3.14 times the diameter. So now to get the diameter by itself, I would undo it being multiplied by 3.14 by dividing by 3.14. And 28.26 divided by 3.14 is nine. So the missing diameter is nine meters. 
Okay, let's look at number five. I need to find this missing length, which is the diameter, and they gave me the circumference. So I'll be substituting into the formula. Circumference equals pi times the diameter. So the circumference is 12.56, and it equals pi is 3.14 times I am looking for that missing diameter. So now to get the diameter by itself, I would divide by 3.14. And 12.56 divided by 3.14 is 4. So the missing length of the circle would be 4 inches for the diameter. Okay, number 6, it wants me to find the missing length, which is a radius this time since it's halfway across. So I'll be plugging into the formula C equals 2 pi r. So the circumference is 21.98 equals 2 times pi is 3.14 times the radius is what I do not know yet. So now I'm going to multiply 2 times 3.14 to simplify that and I get 21.98 equals 6.28 times the diameter. And now I'm going to divide by 6.28 and 21.98 divided by 6.28 is 3.5. So the missing radius of this circle is 3.5 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number seven. It says find the missing length of the circle. So they're wanting us to find the missing diameter and they gave us the circumference and it's in terms of pi this time. But the process will still be the same. I'm gonna write down the formula I'll substitute into, which will be circumference equals pi times the diameter. And the circumference of the circle was 24 pi. And then it equals, since my answer or my circumference was in terms of pi, I'm not gonna put 3.14 this time, I'm gonna put pi times the diameter. So now to get the diameter, I would undo that times pi by dividing by pi. And now the pi in my circumference simplifies out, so I'm left with the diameter of the circle, which is 24 centimeters. And on number eight, I am looking for the missing radius of this circle since it's just the halfway point. So I'll be using the formula circumference equals two pi r. And they gave me the circumference, it's 18 pi. So another in terms of pi. So 18 pi equals two, I'm gonna leave it as pi since we're doing in terms of pi times the radius. So to get the radius by itself in this equation, I need to undo the radius being multiplied by two and pi. So I'm going to divide by two and pi. And these simplify out, so the r is by itself, which is good. And now I just need to simplify this. So 18 divided by two is nine. And then pi divided by pi simplifies out. So that missing radius would be 9 feet.